morning everybody and welcome to your time for young disciples lesson so today's lesson is going to be all about glorifying god in every situation so our scripture for today's lesson is from john chapter 9 verses 1 through 13 which says as he walked along he saw a man blind from birth his disciples asked him rabbi who sinned this man or his parents that he was born blind jesus answered neither this man nor his parents sinned he was born blind so that god's works might be revealed in him we must work the works of him who sent me while it is day night is coming when no one can work as long as i am in the world i am the light of the world when he had said this he spat on the ground and made mud with the saliva and spread the mud on the man's eyes saying to him Go wash in the pool of Siloam, which means scent. Then he went and washed and came back, able to see. The neighbors and those who had seen him before as a beggar began to ask, Is this not the man who used to sit and beg? Some were saying, It is he. Others were saying, No, but it's someone like him. He kept saying, I am the man. But they kept asking him, Then how were your eyes opened? He answered, The man called Jesus made mud spread it on my eyes and said to me, go to Siloam and wash. Then I went and washed and received my sight. They said to him, well, where is he? He said, I do not know. And they brought to the Pharisees the man who had formerly been blind. So music has been a huge part of my life and my personal relationship with God ever since I've been little. And um, the music program at our church is such a wonderful part, um, wonderful ministry of our church. And so I love all the hymns and anthems that we sing here at church. And a lot of my personal favorites have one thing in common, and that's who wrote them. And so today I'm going to tell you about a lady called Fanny Crosby. So Fanny Crosby has wrote several different hymns like to God be the glory and one of my personal favorites which is blessed assurance Jesus is mine and Fanny's story is that when she was little through a series um, of events became blind she was not born blind like the man in our story but she um, became blind as a very young child now I don't know about you but probably if I was her age and I all of a sudden woke up one day and I couldn't see that would be very sad I'd probably be mad and frustrated and just wonder why this had happened to me at all but Fanny's a little bit different she decided that instead of being bitter or mad she was going to use her gifts to proclaim God's glory and so that's what she did in fact she wrote a poem when she was eight years old after she had became blind. And this poem says, Oh, what a happy child I am, although I cannot see. I am resolved that in this world, contented I will be. How many blessings I enjoy that other people don't. To weep and sigh because I'm blind, I can, I cannot, and I won't. So like I said, instead of being mad and frustrated and sorry for herself, Franny used those gifts that God had given her to write over 8,000 hymns and poems to praise and glorify God. So in the same way, this is why the man was blind, born blind. It's not because of something he did or his parents did, but it was so he could be used to show the glory and the power of God. And so, let's think about Fanny Crosby. You know, God didn't heal her blindness, but perhaps if God had healed her, we may have never had all those beautiful hymns. And the world would have never heard of Fanny Crosby at all. So, she used her tragedy of blindness to glorify God. And so, during times like this, I think most of all, we need to find those ways to praise and glorify God because God is bigger than all this. God, is, God has got this. He's going to take care of us. 
And we need to be thankful and praise his name because God's going to take this bad situation and turn it around like Fanny did with her own blindness and used her gifts to glorify God. So I hope that whatever you're experiencing today, that you can pray that God can show you how to turn this the bad into the good because he does it and he does it every time. So I hope you will join me in prayer. Repeat after me. Dear Lord, the difficulties in our life seem small when compared to what others may be facing. Help us not to grumble and complain, but to praise and glorify you in every situation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later. God bless.